In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for CH2Cl2. This is dichloromethane. So we'll start with the Lewis structure here for CH2Cl2, and we're going to find the steric number. That's the number of things attached to this central carbon here. We have one, two, three, four things attached to the central carbon, steric number of four, and there aren't any lone pairs. We have zero lone pairs. If we look at the carbon, all of the electrons around the carbon, they're involved in chemical bonds, so we don't have any lone pairs. That means we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry, and the bond angle will be about 109.5. It'll be a little bit different because of these chlorine atoms here. Let's see if we can visualize the molecular geometry here for CH2Cl2. So the purple, that'll be the central carbon. Let's add two chlorine atoms. They spread out to be as far as they can from each other, and then we're going to add the two hydrogen atoms, one, two, and we end up with what's called a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And with the tetrahedral molecular geometry, the bond angles are 109.5. Again, because we have hydrogens and chlorines, they're different. This will be a little bit different, this angle here, but the general pattern is 109.5. So tetrahedral for molecular geometry, because there are no lone pairs, the electron geometry, it'll be tetrahedral as well. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So we said zero lone pairs, steric number of four, that's tetrahedral. But we could also use the AXE notation. A, that's the central atom, that's the carbon. X, that's the number of atoms attached. We have one, two, three, four. And E is the number of lone pairs, except we don't have any lone pairs. If you looked up AX4 on a table for molecular geometry, you'd see that it's tetrahedral, just like we found before. And the bond angles between the atoms would be about 109.5. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry, bond angles, and the electron geometry for CH2Cl2, dichloromethane. Thanks for watching.